Hi, Bob here. Welcome to Posture Exercises to Prevent Back Pain. Your cervical curve in your neck, your thoracic curve in your back, and your lumbar curve in your low back are important for good posture. When you practice proper posture, you keep your bones and joints in alignment. This decreases the abnormal wearing of joint surfaces, reduces stress on the ligaments holding the spinal joints together, and allows your muscles to work more efficiently. Good posture can also help prevent muscle strain, overuse disorders, and back and muscular pain. I'm going to check my posture by doing the wall test. I'm going to stand with my back against that wall over there. My feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. I'm going to be standing nice and tall. My bum will be touching the wall. There'll be a little bit of an arch in my low back. That's natural. My shoulder blades will be touching the wall. My shoulders will be down and relaxed, but my shoulder blades will be touching and the back of my head will be touching as I keep my head in neutral. None of this chin down or chin up. Keep my head in neutral. To maintain that nice curve in my cervical spine, in the back of my neck. And then I'm gonna stand there for a few seconds just to see if there's anything that's uncomfortable. Oh, and by the way, my heels will not be against the wall. They'll be out a few inches from the wall. Well, I feel a little bit of a tightness going on in my low back and a little bit of an uncomfortable feeling in my neck. So I think I need to work on my shoulders to fix that neck curve and a little bit of my low back to keep that lumbar curve. My shoulders have this big trapezius muscle that envelops my shoulders. It also goes into my neck. So I think I need to work the shoulders and the low back. This garden pole is worth about $4 at the local nursery. You could use a broom handle. Anyway, I'm just going to hold it with a wide grip, try to keep my arms pretty straight, and bring it up over my head and back down to my midriff area. I'm showing you what I'm doing from various angles, but my most important thing is to try to stand with my best posture possible. So those are just overhead presses. Now I'm going to hold it over my head and take it back behind my head with my arms pretty straight, standing up nice and tall. I'm just doing three in each position, but you can just do as many as you want. So back press. Now I'm going to lower it to my shoulders. My arms are now bent. Now I'm pushing my bent arms back. Stick comes off my shoulders a little bit. It goes straight back. Maintain that good posture. Now I bring the bar behind me or the pole behind me, nice wide grip, and then lift up the pole behind me with straight arms. Trying to get out all those muscles in the shoulder from various directions. Now I'm going to take the pole and pretend I'm rowing a boat down the river. So I have one foot straight ahead of me and the other one's on a 45 degree angle as I rock back and forth. Notice my heels are on the ground. I press forward way out and back to the chest. Keep the heels down, maintain good posture. Notice what happens to my 
shoulders. Now I'm going to put my feet together and my knees are coming together as I do a mini squat and I, with a vertical pull, stroke along my side and then with a horizontal pull, bring it back to the front. Now I'm in a different boat, I guess a kayak paddle stroke would look like this. Feet are shoulder width apart, best posture. I'm done. So are you. Get yourself a couple of cans. They don't even have to be the same size. Don't make them too heavy. Cans of whatever you got in your pantry. One in each hand. And then get a nice sturdy chair, not too high, not too low, and sit on the edge in your best posture possible. My feet are shoulder width apart and my feet are flat on the ground. I'm sitting up the best I can. So I'm going to do a series of presses. And I'm going to do them uh, very slowly. So I'm going to start to press overhead. There they go, out of sight. But my arms are getting as straight as possible and I'm bringing my arms as close to my head as possible. And then I'm going to slowly bring the weights or the cans of cherry and chickpeas back to goalpost position. I'll move back a little tiny bit so you can see me. Sitting up nice and tall. Best posture possible. Maintain those three curves. Notice the arms go way up and close to my head. And I'm not doing this too quickly either. I'm trying to think about my muscles and what muscles I'm working. Now let's just do one more. Arms really straight, up high go the cans, and slowly come back down to goalpost position. Now you could do these other two exercises uh, without resting in between, but let's have a little rest. In fact, I think I'll switch hands here. This can here is 28 ounces, and this can is about 18 or 20 ounces. Tricking the brain too. All right, so back to the goal post position. Notice my legs are shoulder width apart. My knees are above my ankles. I could move my heels out a little bit, but not far. Okay, sitting up nice and tall and I'm gonna bring my forearms together and the cans are gonna to bang together here but keep the right angle at the elbow. And out I go, ever so slowly, right to there, the starting position. Here I go again. This is a pec press, working the back, the shoulders, and the chest. And if I maintain my best posture, I'm working my whole body And we could just move right into the forearm dip press, but I'm gonna have a little break. Switch back. I might eat those chickpeas later, but you know what? Let me see how much sodium is in them. Oh my God, 17%. So I'll put those chickpeas in a, in a strainer and I'll wash them, get all that extra sodium out of there. Okay, here we go. Goal post position, everything is Best posture possible, and I'm going to dip my forearms down until I'm right here. So my forearms are parallel to the floor, and then slowly come back up. And dip. And slowly come back up. Let's try taking a deep breath in through our nose first, and then as we blow out, we'll do the dip.
Notice how I used my breath in through the nose, out through the mouth to uh, control the speed at which I do the exercise. The dead bug is simply standing in your best posture possible, raising one arm straight up and the opposite leg lifting the knee up as high as you can. And I'm doing around 10 of these, but when I get near the end, or at least for the last one, I think I'm going to do it super slow and I might even hold it to, to check my balance. But this is a posture exercise, so maintain perfect posture as you stand there and lift your leg and your arm. This is a forward fold with a back arch. So I'm going to stand in my best posture possible. And then as I fold forward, my hips go back, my head goes down and my arms come forward. I'm bending my legs at the knees and then I slowly come back up to where I started, but I keep going, pushing my hips forward. My arms go back and my head goes up. And then I fold forward slowly again. Arms and head and back all come that way toward the earth. My legs are bent just a little bit. And then I come up and back arch, hips come forward, arms go back, head goes up. So it's kind of like a dead lift. My legs are bent a little bit and I'm coming down toward the ground to pick something up. And then I straighten myself up, but my hips come forward and my body goes back. And I look up into heaven and go, I think the wind is telling me that's enough for today. <laughs>